Hello, my name is Sahil Kapoor. You're here with SB, SBC Radio. I'm here with Luke Yandel and Zubin Acuna. Today we are discussing the top four uh, positions in football for QB, halfback, wide receiver, and tight end. Luke, start with QB, please. My top four quarterbacks. Um, I'll go in order here. I'll start with uh, Patrick Mahomes of the Kansas City Chiefs at the number one spot. I'll say Josh Allen of the Buffalo Bills, the number two spot. I'll say Tom Brady, number three, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And number four, might surprise people, I'll go with uh, Russell Wilson, Seattle Seahawks. Luke, please elaborate on why you chose Russell Wilson at four. Well, I think Russell Wilson uh, is one of the biggest talents in the NFL. And he might have had a down year this year, but you see how great he can be when he started the year. Um, the year before, you know, he had a very consistent season. And honestly, it's been forever since he hasn't had an inconsistent season besides, you know, this season. It's just always a great quarterback, tons of stats, goes to the playoffs, and makes his teammates around him better. So that's why I have him at number four. Thank you. Zubin. I'll put him in order as well. I got to go with the go. Tom Brady. Then we got to put, uh, I'll go Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, and also Russell Wilson because I've always loved wa Russell Wilson, always enjoyed watching him play. Had him on my fantasy team too, did me pretty well, uh, and he's just a great player. Thank you. Please elaborate on why you chose those four. Tom Brady, uh, just can't go wrong with him. Aging, but still threat. Aging like fine wine. Uh, he's playing phenomenally, just led the Bucks to a championship. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, incredible young talent, bright future. Same with Josh Allen and Russell Wilson, as I mentioned. Just a great player. Uh, I think he'll, he still has some time in his career where, where he will thrive. So, yeah. For me, top four. In order, I have... Number one, Patrick Mahomes. Number two, Russell Wilson. Number three, Josh Allen. Number four, Tom Brady. I choose those because number one and two are just great athletes. Pat Mahomes and Wilson are great at escaping the pocket, evading pressure, great deep ball throwers, just great football players in general. Moving on to running backs. Luke, tell me your top four, please. My top four running backs, and you know I'll go in order on this, too. Looks like we may have a caller here, actually. Yes. Let's see. Oh, 69. Hello. Hello? Could you please repeat that? He said he wants to know why you put Patrick Mahomes at number one. I put Pat Mahomes at number one because he's won a Super Bowl, won an MVP, and a Super Bowl MVP. Pat Mahomes right now is the best talent in the league for me. He's so athletic. He's deep ball. And uh, everything about him is just great. Great thrower, has a great team around him, great coach. Everything is great about Patrick Mahomes. Going back to running backs. Right, quick question, on. quick question. When it's all said and done, where do you think Patrick Mahomes will rank amongst quarterbacks? I think number one or two. Still, it's a little too early. I can't set my eyes on two or one. But one of those for sure. Either Tom Brady or Mahomes. That's the future. Back to Luke. So, back to running backs. Throw fantasy football out the window. Derrick Henry is the best running back in the league. Number one. And then number two is Dalvin Cook. Number three is Christian McCaffrey. And number four is hard this year. because There's so many great talents in the NFL, especially at running back. Um, it's a hard decision. Hmm. Really stumped on this one. I'll actually say Austin Eckler in terms of team value. I'll put Austin Eckler at number four. Uh, did you have Alvin Kamal on the list? No, I don't. Please explain why you don't have Alvin Kamara on the list. Well, Alvin Kamara had one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time in Drew Brees, the check-down king, who 
boosted Alvin Kamara's numbers extremely. And, you know, this year, I'm not really seeing Alvin Kamara having the same kind of year that he did with uh, Drew Brees as his quarterback. You know, I, he's definitely in the top six, seven range, but this year you'll see Alvin Kamara's true colors and see what he can really do without an amazing quarterback. Zubin. I got to put Derrick Henry one, and I'm going to put Alvin Kamara at two. And then at three, I'll put Christian McCaffrey and four. You know, I'll just go with Dalvin Cook because I enjoy watching him play. Zubin, elaborate. Well, Alvin Kamara, I I, I have to disagree with Luke. Uh, I think his, you said something about True Color showing, but I, I, I still think he'll thrive. I think he'll play very well. And he had a great season, and I think he has many more seasons of good play to come. And I'm excited to see what he'll be able to do. Thank you. My top four, I have number one, Christian McCaffrey. Number two, Derrick Henry. Number three, Dalvin Cook. Number four, Alvin Kamara. I choose... Christian McCaffrey at one, because he can do literally everything a running back needs to do. He can run, pass, he can catch, literally everything. Great route runner, pretty much Alvin Kamara and Derrick Henry combined. That together is unstoppable. Next, wide receiver, Luke. Wide receiver, uh, that's a tough one because, you know, there's a few amazing wide receivers, so it's hard to, you know, keep one from the other. I'll say number one is Tyree Kill. I think Tyree Kill was probably the best deep deep threat in the league right now. And you've seen his speed. You know, speed kills in the NFL and that's what Tyree Kill does. I'd say number two is uh Devontae Adams, who could see, you know, different numbers this year if Aaron Rodgers does not end up playing for the Packers. But his route running is really amazing and he was great last year and you know, he gets injured a lot, but when he does play, he's incredibly efficient and very good. Um, number three, I'd say Stefan Diggs. This is kind of a new one because, you know, before when well, he's on the Vikings, he was still good, but not, you know, top five, top four. But uh, this year on the Bills, man, he was just he's just a killer. Just receptions, yards, and, I mean, they got to the AFC Championship game, and I think he was a driving factor of that. Um, number four, this one's really tough. Because, you know, those are, like, my top three. Um, yeah, it's really tough, but people aren't going to like this. But Michael Thomas is still out there in the league. And, you know, people will call him overrated. But he was hurt, you know, most of the season. And the Saints were just not the same team last year. Michael Thomas, when he's healthy and running routes like he does, he's unstoppable. And, you know, you saw his numbers when he was healthy. Luke, tell me whether it was now DeAndre Hopkins or Julio Jones. Well, I see Julio Jones as someone that's aging, and Julio Jones did not have a great year at all last year, and the Falcons don't do anything. The receivers I named, they make their teams good. They go to the playoffs. Um, yeah, I just don't see Julio Jones as that kind of receiver. I think the Titans will definitely make the playoffs, and he'll be a big help to that offense this year. But I wouldn't put Julio there just because of his age and uh, – how he's kind of regressed a little bit. DeAndre Hopkins is an interesting one because I think in terms of just catching the ball, he's the best. He's the best at catching the ball, but he's not very efficient. You know, you'll see a game where he has ten receptions, 168 yards, and a touchdown, and you'll think, "Wow, that guy's really good." Next game, five receptions, 30 yards, no touchdowns. I mean, it, it can vary with him a lot. I think he's inconsistent, but I do think he is definitely in the top five of wide receivers. I got to go with, um, I like Devontae Adams at number one, uh, especially if Aaron Rodgers will end up staying with them. Uh, whenever you have such an elite quarterback, it just helps you thrive. Um, number two, I'll put, I'll go with, I'll go with Tyreek Hill. Uh, love how fast he is, very fun to watch, uh, brings tons of energy everywhere he goes, and just a great player. And then three and four is Stefan Diggs, and then at four I have um, Julio Jones. Uh, 
he is aging. That, that's what players do. But I, I still think with the Titans, I think with the he'll be a better fit with the Titans, and I think he'll have a great season. Thank you. And number one, for me, I have Devontae Adams. And number two, Stephon Diggs. Number three, Tyreek Hill. Number four, DeAndre Hopkins. Number one, it's obvious, best wide receiver in the league, let's be honest. Now, moving on to tight ends. Top four. I'm going to do a little speed round right here because we all know who's number one. We all know that Travis Kelsey is the best tight end in the league. Has been last few years. Just an amazing tight end. Um, I'd have to say rapid fire, Kittle, Waller, and Mark Andrews are the other three. Thank you. Steven? I like Kelsey. I like Mark Andrews a lot. Um, also Kittle. And you know what? Rob Gronk. Love him. He'll never not. Uh, just fun to watch. For me, number one, Kelsey. Number two, Kittle. Number three, Waller. Number four, it's hard. I think Hunter Henry will have a great season this year. That is SBC Radio. Thank you for tuning in. Signing off. Sahok 4.